Hey, my baby lions, antelopes, tunas. <laughs> it's been a long time since I called you guys tuna. But anyway, we're going to make another video about MTG Headquarters app, uh, Game Finder. We are, hopefully, I'm going to be paid in stuffed tigers to make this video. Hopefully, stuffed tigers. Anyway, uh, let's talk about the app, talk about the Kickstarter. So I'm on Kickstarter right now. There'll probably be a link in the somewhere below and yeah so he wants to promote this app and this app is very near and dear to his heart um, he has he's going to spend as you kind of see when you go down you will see that he's going to spend a lot of money on it I did a app video previously and I'll link it on the video in the about section below you can do Apple Android I have an Apple but I also like an Android. I probably will get an Android next. I've always shown you this. Uh, you can find players. You can find locations. The sample, the screenshot. Here's a list of games. I do feel like he should add Weiss. Uh, Weiss is that anime game. And I do play it. I actually collect some of the cards on Weiss. are extremely expensive. And as well as Pokemon. Kind of play that. Not Cardfight Vanguard. I used to play that a lot. Hard to find players. And Magic is actually not... Too difficult to find players, but for other games like Cardfight Vanguard and Weiss, I would definitely use this app to find players. Or even Inuyasha. God forbid that there's any Inuyasha players within like 50 mile radius of me because we will play Inuyasha. And many more. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the features, uh, what, why he needs money, why he kicks funding. I assume that he has put in his own money and his own time, he's definitely already put in his own time to fund this venture. Facebook ads, YouTube pay promotion, press release budget, and stickers to local games. I guess the idea is you can text somebody and then you can meet at a local game store. And that's actually a lot better idea than meeting them in like a dark alley in a Whataburger. A Whataburger, by the way, is our Texas version of McDonald's. Stretch goals. And here are the rewards you can get a supporter on, so I'm definitely one of those. Uh, be thanked in a special video. Pretty cool. Beautiful Game Finder custom playmat. So you can get a playmat and you can get a clothing as well, and then you can get playmat and clothing, as well as a lock of hair. Huh. I wouldn't. Okay, no comment on that particular reward. Or oh, this is actually a very interesting one. Um, you can have dinner with him. I wonder if you can get like, I know he goes to Houston sometimes, so maybe he'll grab dinner. You can If you live in Houston and he's around in Houston, you can grab dinner with both of us. And the patron of the saint, so you donate $1,000. Here's the phone number. It's his real phone number. Okay, here's the uh, staff hard at work and the app approval, the marketing budget, all of this type of stuff. Now, what I want to talk about a little bit more about why GameFinder would be useful to maybe my audience members. I, I have a good feeling that a lot of you are younger, perhaps, and I wanted to tell you guys that you have to finding people with the same hobby as you or being open about it is very kind of difficult when you're younger because in high school at least so I went to high school many many years ago you wouldn't openly say hey I play magic I play Pokemon card game like you wouldn't openly say that but I could definitely see how you could chat about it and be like hey I want to chat you know or find out somebody in your school who you didn't know plays the game and then you can chat with them via a program and then be like oh hey we're located really close to each other and that's the advantage I see I see a particular use for high school and middle school students who may be a li little shy about their hobbies so and definitely in high school it was all about sports uh, I played two sports actually I guess two and a half if you count winter track uh, but winter track is really to keep it in shape. 
anyway, I played two sports and I played magic and I had my group of magic friends. But then again, I never really told anyone I played magic because, you know, again, you're in high school. But in middle school, it's the same idea. So this device kind of makes it possible for you to locate other people in your school or even if you go to college sometimes I was very lucky in that my floor mates my some of my the people who lived on my fo floor in my dorm room uh, they played magic and that was always kind of fun to go to a pre-release with you know someone who lives like right next door to you right so I could definitely see this device uh, working in a dorm room or in a high school or in a middle school a little less likely at work although it would be kind of it would be kind of weird if like somebody at work that like maybe the male dude is like hey like you work in the mail room do you want to play magic in the mail room um or even you know even using this as maybe some type of dating app for magic players i don't know like there's a lot of possibilities and i'm going on and on and on and on I just wish I had this when I was younger because I would definitely use it a lot more when I was younger. I'm still going to use it today, but when if I was in like middle school or high school or in college, I could for sure uh, imagine using this particular uh, game app. So yes, that was a very elongated, very tedious talk. But at the same time, I'm all for supporting YouTubers, and that's very important to me. And um, because we're part of the same community at the end of the day, yup, 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 yup.